How about stuff around here from our nerds? What was the next part of my Soma Let's Play? So, in the previous part, I ended up outside a Delta site and oh, I had to use a um, this freight cargo plane thing to bring me to Theta. So, now I can make my way into Theta. Wake up, Dr. Masters. We're bringing in acres. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The lab sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the suit. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Emma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Stras, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. Okay. And as we now know, he was a bad guy. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Philosophically, I saw see where you're coming from, but it's not actually you living on, is it? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? No. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. <laughs> I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin, I'm not sure how to say this. What? This, this is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. No, I'm not going to upset her as Reeves. I don't understand. So I put you out of your misery? Is this what it's supposed to look like? I can't just go killing people because I don't. And they are people, just because it's not a body, they are a person. Can't just go killing people. I expected something different. I'm sorry, no a chat with you. See you later. Will do. I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. You good? I think so. I feel fine. Okay.
She doesn't seem particularly upset by the situation, so I don't know. I'm particularly upset by the whole situation, so I feel bad for disrupting her. Okay. I can figure this out. Okay. Okay, now try that. Uh, I need more space to move the mouse. to fight up. Anyone there? Don't say it this mad robot's around. Well, Catherine, we found data. Door's locked. Why is it with game protagonists and film fans actually? They're in a horror film. Even if they don't want to admit it, they're in a horror film. The film doesn't go on. Yet they're happy to walk into a place and just say, Oh, yeah, hello, anyone there? What is it? Every result. Let's go in here. I see a relevant window that I can smash. Hopefully, this plastic sign will do the job nicely. Okay, perhaps. ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. 
I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Find someone who knows the security cipher. So that's also a dump is in that room over there. Way first. This is as good as any. Thanks, Dromar. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kind of sounds like a warning. Once I go down there, I definitely coming back very time soon. So I'm gonna explore that every area first. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Theta is out of the picture, where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron? Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. Hmm. I really don't like this. Big exposed tunnels.
Okay, we'll do the other door first. Oh, that's green. I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the Ark. Carry it to town? That seems excessive, but not out of the question. Go one of those levels of keep the monster here right to the end, or a significant way through before it springs on you, just to lower into a false sense of ugh, relaxation. what I look like. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories.
So he got she got read from the vivarium. Oh, so I can't open big drawers. Most of the people in the future, their desks are so tidy. Okay. Of Paris 2 paper. Look at the lens and eye. Self. Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. Okay. I hate to say, but he does have some fair points. So wasn't that the same book I had in my thing? Well, I buy If you've played any, these um, Fraxus released a load of um, like teaser trailers. Um, they're not actually related to the game. They're like sort of teaser short films, and you get to watch them. On they really build a backstory. Unfortunately, they sort of give away a lot of story, but they're released as all they um, and on the ARG games. 
Right, so unfortunately they give a lot of the backstory, but they're worth watching afterwards, so I would, if you've not seen them yet, don't watch them now. Obviously you're getting small play in this, but watch them after, so you know the backstory. It's a tool safety. Oh, amazer, amazer, it's like a laser, but instead of using coherent light, it uses um, coherent microwave radiation. Let's open that door. Try to see how door move. That's still red. a long part, many exploration, but I think it's a good start. So I think in the next part we shall head down this way to oh server access. So this is the service. So until uh, the next time, I'll do the Suffolk Ram. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.